So, having a little break from the OP, and this will be a short material about uh, things behind the game itself. First of all, I wanted to give you a little rundown about a few points. First of all, the author, the creator of the books, Andrew Sapkowski. Second, a little bit uh, about the world of The Witcher. Then, uh, what we already have, The Unexpected Child. And the final one, little uh, something at the end that might you, fi you might find interesting. Uh, so, I'm Gabriel, uh, if you somehow don't know yet. <laughs> First of all, about Andrew Sapkowski. Uh, he was born in 1948 in Central Poland, Central Poland city Łódź. Uh, if you want to translate the name of the city, it's uh, Boat, which is quite funny. Uh, the city is uh, almost exactly in the center of, our, of, my, of my country, of Poland. Uh, and the funny part is that it is it, it is not near any kind of ocean or bigger places where you can find water. So why it is boat? I don't know. Uh, Andrew Sukowski studied economics, uh, and on in the in 2008, he his birth town gave him an official honorable citizenship. Uh, his first novel was published in 1986 in the very popular Polish magazine Fantastica. That magazine. Uh, should be the title of the magazine should be translated a little bit, I think, fantasy. Uh, we have a little distinction between uh, fantasy in Polish and Fantastica, but never mind. He published there also some of his uh, translations of other people's work. After that, the 90s are the time of the Witcher series. Uh, the books, there are seven short novel books, uh, Last Wish amongst the, among these, and the five book series about the Witcher itself. And the titles of the five books uh, that create the Witcher series uh, are The Blood of the Elves, Time of Disdain, Baptism by Fire, Tower of Swallow, Lady of the Lake. I translated the titles uh, more or less literally. I This is just how I feel uh, that you can have the more the greater reception. These books are mainly translated to Russian, Czech, language, some of them are translated to Spanish, and I know that there are some translations in progress. One main new work uh, that Andrzej Sapkowski created, and I think for now it is his best creation, is what we call the Husit or Husitian Trilogy, but uh, there will be separate material about those particular books because I highly recommend them to anyone. As a person, uh, Andrew Sapkowski is a little controversial writer, I think. He's not a person who really values the fact that his books are well received and they are popular. He's more of a thriftler and a man who values money, I believe that's because of his economical background. I had the opportunity to meet him during one of the visits he gave to a central library in my hometown. Uh, he was asked by a person from the crowd why he writes, and the answer was quite funny. He said that he writes for money, not to mention the, that he joked something on those lines. My publisher gave me advance payment for an illustrated guided book, an illustrated guidebook for the Witcher Castle, and I took the money, not to mention that this kind of book will never be written. So he is quite an interesting figure. When it comes to the world itself, more or less it's a typical fantasy setting as you already see from the OP, but don't be fooled. There are references to feudal and uh, Middle Ages political situation, usually political situation concerning Poland. One that I highly uh, remember and it is important for the OP is the is Nilfgaard. Uh, the Black Empire is uh, modeled and created to resemble Germany in the middle of 19th century, I think. And that is also why the northern population, they don't, they hate them so much. They hate uh, Nilfgaard. One more is the Brenner Battle, uh, the one that uh, was mentioned at the very beginning. Uh, the Brenner Battle, I'm not sure about this, but I personally think that it is inspired by the Warsaw Battle in 1920, uh, when Polish army, by some miracle, <laughs> The battle is also known as the Miracle at Wisla, stopped the Soviet aggression uh, that was going from east to west. So, to understand many of the Witcher game quests, as well as the situation of the whole world, it is sometimes sometime required to have sort of a background of the history of uh, middle ge geographical Middle Europe. Uh, oh, and there is also this line. I had my reasons. The Witcher spent most of the way to Flotsam talking to someone. Long into the evening, 
As water lapped against the boat's side, Triss told him forgotten stories of his unexpected child and his toxic relationship with a sorceress named Jennifer. Stories of a life stolen from him. What is an unexpected child? Uh, first of all, I think the translation here is a little gives a little. It should be called the surprise child. It's a situation that might occur as a final effect, uh, as a final effect of the law of the surprise. What is the law of the surprise, you ask? It's a plot device that Andrzej Sokowski created for his world, which is very much centered around fate, fate of a person or an, of an individual. Witchers usually, but it is not restricted, only witchers can use it. Witchers, when they save someone, they usually save someone's lives from a monster, they can ask for a reward. Or if the person uh, is so grateful that he or she says, I will grant you everything you like, then the person who saved, Witcher for example, can say, can say this line, you will give me something you own that you don't know about it yet, or you don't know that you own it yet. Uh, what that means, uh, when the person who was saved comes back to his or her home, he can find that someone, some neighbor or someone brought to him something. That means that the Witcher can take it. Uh, in very rare cases, uh, it's, it's a re really rare situation, it can happen that the person comes back and finds out that his wife, usually the saved one, what I know was a man, that his wife is pregnant. And that means that the Witcher, or whoever saved, can, how to say it, he can take the child. The fate is at the work here. The Witcher will sooner, if he will take the child, or the child will find somehow the way to the Witcher. This can't be altered. So far there are three no known cases of a surprised child, or an unexpected child in the Witcher book series. Geralt himself is one. There is Ciri. Ciri is Geralt's chi child of surprise. Uh, and she is, how to call it, that happens in one of the books and in the series itself. And Pavetta. Pavetta is the princess of Sintra, she is Ciri's mother. And the last thing, uh, you all know that Geralt is known as Geralt of Rivia. He is not from the city, it is just a nickname that he adopted, he took for himself. Uh, that makes him a little bit of, you know, stand out. The, ir the irony is, that he was not born in Arabia, but from the flashback from the game, from the OP, we know that he died in the city. Uh, so a few points that uh, I hope clarified some things for you, or at least uh, were interesting enough to hear it. Uh, and now back to the OP, of course, when the next episode will be uploaded. Thanks for listening, see ya!